Okay, good, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Chris Poria. Uh, welcome to the Early Birds Weekly Explorer webinar. Uh, this webinar series is run by Early Birds team uh, to promote disruptive leaders, especially uh, innovators, uh, mostly focused on startups and scale-ups uh, who have a minimum viable product um, or more. Today, our guest is a startup from uh, Sri Lanka and Japan called Tressified. Uh, Dilipa Jayatileke um, is a senior engineer with 18 years of experience in software development. Um, he is the co-founder of this blockchain-based supply chain tres uh, traceability company called Tressified. Uh, headquarters in Tokyo, Japan. Um, Tressified has done several large-scale uh, traceability project uh, for agriculture domain, both private enterprises and public sector. Uh, so today, Dilipa is going to share a uh, tracified story with us. We are going to hear from him uh, for approximately 20 to 25 minutes or so, and then we will open floor for questions. Um, attendees, please share your questions through uh, the chat box in the meantime, or you might be able to request to speak once we open for questions. Uh, Dilipa, uh, welcome again, uh, and uh, over to you. Thanks, Chris, and uh, thanks EBM uh, for this opportunity, and I'm honored to be presenting uh, here. Tracified uh, is a blockchain-based technology company uh, providing traceability for supply chains, and uh, the company started in uh, 2017, uh, and uh, is now headquartered in Tokyo, Japan, uh, having uh, the engineering operation happening in Sri Lanka. And we have won many awards, both in Sri Lanka and overseas. Uh, if we can go to the next slide, please. Okay, uh, our uh, product concept was uh, inspired by uh, experience uh, of the founders uh, implementing a traceability system about five years back for a Norwegian salmon vendor uh, who sold Norwegian salmon through e-commerce in China, uh, where we uh, implemented boat to table traceability, the end to end, uh, and we uh, identified the challenges in providing projecting information uh, credibly in supply chains and uh, put together ideas and uh, and developed uh, this blockchain based platform and we believe that uh, blockchain is the solution uh, in identify in uh, meeting the specific challenges that that we have recognized uh, doing this solution so this is uh, uh, the background of the problem uh, supply chains uh, of course, have been having traceability for many decades, uh, mainly driven by regulatory requirements and requirements for internal tracking. Uh, but that version of traceability seems to have serious problems. Uh, this is one of the uh, infamous examples. Uh, in 2015, uh, the horse, horse meat scandal in UK, which revealed uh, nearly 70 percent uh, of the uh, beef uh, in burgers were actually not beef but horse meat and uh, the the situation is that uh, these kind of incidents are not very rare they are happening uh, they are getting uh, reported almost in a weekly basis so th there is a serious problem uh, and it happens with every kind of supply chain let it be agri uh, dairy fish uh, or other supply chains like uh, even uh, apparels uh, the next slide please so uh, various analysis uh, into the uh, problems uh, have revealed the main reasons for this problem the traditional traceability is usually one step up, one step down uh, traceability, where as a supplier, 
you are obliged to provide some traceability information to your buyer and then the buyer is obliged to provide traceability information to the next organization in the supply chain and it goes on like that the problem is uh, when traceability information leaves the boundaries of one organization and reaches the other organization this information loses credibility because there's no guarantee that the information provided is not tampered with or recorded accurately and so on and uh, the various probes uh, into the uh, reported problems have revealed that uh, power asymmetry is uh, one of the prominent reasons uh, for this uh, where one organization in the supply chain is much powerful than the other organizations and hence uh, dictating how data is governed and so on uh, so we see at least two problems here uh, across organizations the amount of information exchanged is very minimal contributing to low supply chain performance because uh, research has repeatedly revealed that uh, sharing more information between organizations participating in a supply chain improves its performance uh, the next is uh, the credibility of the information uh, which is shared uh, yeah so if we uh, move to the next slide and going along this line we identify that traceability cannot be achieved by the efforts of a single organization and it's a collective effort by all participants uh, in a supply chain uh, usually in uh, today's global supply chains uh, these organizations come from different countries uh, and different cultures with different value systems and so on so we need to recognize modern traceability as an organizational problem and uh, tracified is actually uh, not the first blockchain based uh, traceability platform uh, there were a couple more the usual approach of using blockchain for improving credibility in traceability information is providing uh, what is called proof of existence uh, because blockchain is a, a digital technology that provides a immutable database uh, a database where records cannot be tampered with so once the information is put into the this database or the ledger as as it is called uh, then it's guaranteed that this information uh, has not been changed or manipulated by anyone to their interests uh, but there are few hiccups uh, there uh, what about the credibility of uh, this information reaching the blockchain in first place because the blockchain cannot guarantee uh, the truthfulness of the data that reaches it and even after reaching the blockchain of course the raw pieces of information may not have been tampered with but a careful manipulation uh, or, or a, a, a diligent manipulation uh, can still make sure the links between those data is changed in a way that uh, uh, that uh, the information uh, projected is ultimately incorrect so there are several problems uh, with using only proof of existence uh, in blockchain for supply chain traceability okay so uh, we uh, our approach was to implement a multitude of blockchain proofs where proof of existence is only one of them covering the supply chain aspects in a, in sort of a 360 degree uh, perspective and we divide these blockchain proofs into four quadrants like this uh, the left quadrant uh, is 
truth at the origin uh, which says how truthful or how credible are the information about the origin of all the materials and artifacts involved in a supply chain and there are a number of blockchain proofs that we offer to make this current make this guarantee as strong as possible and then the right quadrant talks about uh, truth on the go uh, refers to uh, uh, after after proving the origin how can you guarantee the authenticity uh, of the rest of the supply chain until it reaches the end consumer and uh, the bottom quadrant uh, refers to uh, aspects concerning the configuration of the supply chain like the certifications involved uh, and the identities of the people and the processes machines places involved and so on and once all these types of data is guaranteed to be credible we still have one missing piece uh, where we need to put them all together and process them and interpret them to the consumers of this information uh, which can be the end consumers and uh, organizations uh, in uh, in the middle of the supply chain and so on because you can't usually you can't just project the raw data to the uh, uh, to the consumers you have to process them and summarize them and present it and in this summarization process how can you verify that the the credibility still stays intact so that is uh, uh, this top quadrant next slide please so our solution is twofold. Uh, the le left one is technology access, uh, which is actually covered by the traditional traceability solutions as well. Uh, it's basically about tracking your supply chain uh, using various means and then uh, storing them securely and making that data transparent to all the stakeholders involved in the value chain. And on top of this, uh, we introduce this organizational axis uh, uh, which comes with the blockchain and which deals with uh, things like proofs and verifications uh, the blockchain based proofs and expert vetting how can you get the endorsements of uh, various trusted parties uh, uh, to improve your uh, uh, improve your authenticity claim and warranties and feedback loops as well feedback loops is basically upstream traceability where you uh, get feedback from various kinds of uh, buyers and uh, send that send that information uh, upstream in the value chain so that the producers get to know uh, how well their products were received by their customers so with this we introduced trust and commitment uh, into the value chain and we spawn a new kind of a value conversation uh, resulting in improved supply chain performance which we can uh, call the real modern traceability for industry 4.0 if we can go to the next slide please uh, this is an example from uh, uh, one of our uh, web applications, uh, this is the blockchain explorer, uh, which is the front end for our blockchain. Uh, in the left, you can see uh, how you can see a typical uh, blockchain transaction uh, for an agri supply chain uh, in the blockchain. And on the right, uh, it shows how, for example, uh, proof of existence. One of those uh, blockchain proofs I presented uh, is. Uh, is uh, shown in the front end next slide please and uh, this is uh, another front end uh, uh, from the web shop this is the kind of the front end uh, that the consumer would see uh, in a e-commerce web shop just before purchasing a product uh, in the product description page uh, we can add this section as an extension uh, 
to show extended traceability. For instance, uh, uh, the geographic journey of the product in a map and uh, various dimensions of the traceability, uh, such as how fresh the product is, how safe it is to eat. So this, this is for agri supply chain. And uh, what are the sustainable practices uh, that were employed in producing this? And what is the community involved in producing this product? For instance, uh, uh, four out of uh, 19 farmers are women and you help uh, 10 children uh, in, uh, in rural areas of Sri Lanka uh, uh, for, uh, on their education in buying, the, buying this product and so on. And uh, Tracified provides uh, a very flexible and configurable uh, tool set in coming up with these kind of interfaces. Firstly, uh, the, business, uh, the business specialist uh, can configure uh, their supply chain uh, using a front end. And after that, uh, mobile apps will be automatically generated which can be distributed to supply chain workers who can uh, record information uh, in their particular stages accordingly. And if some of the information has to be recorded uh, automatically, for instance, using uh, sensors, they can also be plugged in. And uh, if the supply, if some of the supply chain companies use, uh, let's say, uh, agri ERP or something and wish to import some of this uh, information automatically from it, uh, we can uh, uh, hook into uh, uh, our API and bridge that information. And then uh, there are uh, portals uh, for administrating uh, the system, plus uh, 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 plus uh, front ends providing specialized insights like reports to uh, business admins in the system and customer facing interfaces like this uh, and th there's a mobile uh, app as well uh, where the end consumer can rate the product uh, against various aspects of it after using it which will be shown to uh, the upstream companies so this interface is uh, from one of our uh, agri customers Arket organics Next slide, please. So Tracified is a fully cloud-based solution. It's a SaaS platform, uh, integrates with IoT, uh, and uh, can be plugged into shopping carts, e-commerce, uh, and works with uh, brick and mortar as well. Next slide, please. Uh, so these are a basic uh, uh, the business model. Uh, so we target authentic sellers. Uh, we enable authentic sellers to prove their the quality claims. Uh, so focused on uh, process and gap, spends in obtaining certifications and uh, selling premium, selling in premium markets and so on. And uh, buyers uh, that are tech savvy and trusts technology uh, and, are, uh, and uh, are ready to pay a premium for proven quality. Uh, and so on. Next slide, please. Uh, so these are some of our customers. Sarketa Organics, our first customer, uh, organic exporter uh, from Sri Lanka, uh, uses Tracified uh, for proving the value addition they make uh, throughout the integrated supply chain uh, in their e-commerce. ICAS is organic farm from uh, Japan that again uses specified in a similar context. And UNIDO uh, is a UN-based organization uh, uh, which provided us funding to implement a national level project in Sri Lanka uh, where we implemented end-to-end uh, -end traceability for Ceylon cinnamon uh, in international trade because uh, Sri Lanka is losing a lot of money uh, due to uh, counterfeit products uh, in the international market. Cinnamon is true to Sri Lanka, uh, but uh, there are a lot of other products uh, appearing, uh, coming with the brand name Ceylon Cinnamon uh, with fake identities. So we uh, hope to tackle this uh, problem and it was a, it's a national project. We are just completing with that. And we have just 
started uh, we just uh, got another project from uh, asian development bank uh, to implement a regional project uh, on food traceability again uh, and uh, we have uh, we are also uh, working on uh, uh, a proof of concept solution uh, for a fashion brand in Sri Lanka named fashionmarket.lk uh, to uh, show traceability uh, on their handloomed saris. And uh, there's one more uh, a case which is not shown here as well, uh, which, which can be of, in, uh, 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 of interest, uh, which is again a Japanese company importing gemstones the colored stones from sri lanka and selling them through e-commerce in japan uh, and we again provide end-to-end -end traceability and uh, and with uh, fair trade premiums and so on guaranteed fair trade premiums and so on uh, on that so tracified uh, is a platform which can be used for any kind of supply chains although uh, most of our experience so far has been uh, into agri, particularly into organics. Uh, we have uh, a lot of partners. We got uh, two partners in Australia. Turbovis uh, is a, a logistics partner, a logistics company. And uh, we have another partner from Australia named GenXT BT. Senso is a... Uh, Temperature sensor manufacturing uh, company from Germany. Good Market uh, is a community in Sri Lanka uh, promoting uh, good trading practices and, and authentic products. And ACAT is uh, an accelerator from Japan. Uh, next one, please. Yeah, so I think uh, we have reached the end. Uh, so thank you, and uh, I can uh, take up questions from thank now. You. I guess. Thank you very much, uh, Dilip. Uh, this was a very good presentation. So um, all attendees, they, you can ask questions through the chat box, or you will see uh, there's a uh, speak button with a hand. So you can also press that, and I will allow you to speak through the through the system. Uh, so this was really uh, very uh, detailed presentation. Really appreciate that. Uh, uh, so I think uh, we have one question coming from Samira saying that how do I engage with early birds marketplace to utilize solutions such as Tracified to manage supply chain tracking? Um, so this one is pretty easy uh, uh, given that uh, Tracified is already listed on early birds uh, marketplace. So you can go onto the platform uh, and um, either contact uh, directly through that platform, or of course uh, you can negotiate. Uh, there will be a pilot or proof of concept pricing normally uh, suggested by these innovators. Uh, so um, you could do that as well. Um, so please guys ask questions through the chat box, uh, or again, uh, you can request uh, uh, to speak um, as well. Um, I think, um, Arjun, you had some questions, so you can either, again, speak through or, or send a question through the chat box. Um, in terms of, um, so, um, okay, so just got that question. Um, how do you guarantee inter uh, integrity in the input? Uh, a 20,000 2018 report from NC University shows only 15% of participants in supply chain believe they can produce clean, trustworthy data. Yes, uh, actually, that that that's a tricky thing uh, because we are dealing with the real world. Uh, so there's no uh, uh, there's no straightforward uh, solution into it. Uh, but uh, uh, the approach that we take is uh, sort of similar to the approach of uh, antivirus. Uh, let's say uh, uh, antivirus cannot guarantee, uh, provide a hundred percent guarantee that uh, you don't get affected, but uh, it can uh, combat the viruses uh, up to a great level. So what we uh, 
do is we provide uh, we have uh, we have identified uh, uh, what were the main reasons for uh, fraud in various kinds of supply chains and we provide uh, a one or two proofs addressing each kind of uh, fraud for instance uh, there's a proof uh, called proof of uh, genuine spending where we make sure that uh, quantities cannot be uh, manipulated so if we if, if you uh, purchase one kilogram of premium ingredient uh, and then you can't use two kilograms of it uh, uh, it in making your products it uh, uh, you can use only one kilogram uh, and uh, of course uh, the physical conditions you can uh, verify with uh, various certifications and uh, trusted parties uh, that are involved and then uh, those certifications can be linked as well uh, and uh, let's say uh, uh, another dimension is capacity uh, for instance if a organic farm is actually capable of producing only 100 kilograms of ca uh, organic carrots a month uh, that can be recorded in blockchain as a smart contract and then that farm will only be able to record that amount of uh, carrots in a month and so on so so th there's an array of blockchain proofs uh, uh, and the collection of which makes this uh, claim a very trustworthy one although it's not 100 percent it's way better than uh, not having something like that great thank you Dilipa, for that the next question is for those using tracified what technology would they require to interact uh, with the solutions? Uh, uh, Tracified is uh, mainly web-based, so you do not uh, really need uh, a lot of technologies uh, to be using it. You can uh, just uh, create an account uh, and there's an initial configuration part. You, you need to configure your supply chain and create your users tell the system that okay these users are supposed to record these pieces of information at these stages of the supply chain uh, and so on uh, and of course we can uh, help with that uh, uh, and then uh, uh, there are a couple of mobile apps that will be uh, automatically generated which you can uh, use in either uh, android or I ios uh, I iphone uh, and works with uh, very low end phones as well. Uh, and the rest of uh, the application is uh, pretty much web based. So you don't really need uh, much, uh, I mean, uh, technologies or platforms to run this. Excellent. It will run in uh, any, any uh, operating system. Uh, it's cloud based. No worries. Thank you, Dilipa. Thank you very much for, uh, for answering this. And, uh, uh, guys, given that we are done with our time, uh, so I would like to thank you, Dilipa, again, uh, getting up so early uh, and uh, providing a very comprehensive uh, 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 presentation. I've got another question before we go. Um, how do we overcome the participants in the supply chain uh, that process uh, that process bulk, for example, grain storage and meat processing? that mix and blend produce from different producers yeah uh, it actually links to uh, uh, some of the proofs that i have uh, mentioned earlier uh, so you can't actually address them only with proofs so uh, uh, the thing is uh, there are there are certification agencies there are uh, there are authorities involved uh, the problem with the current uh, today's supply chains is uh, these efforts are uh, isolated they are not linked so uh, what we provide uh, through tracified is to link all of them and then link these into various kinds of proofs like proof proof of uh, uh, proof of quantity uh, and uh, proof of the origin proof of location and all of them and put them all together and then it's extremely hard to uh, uh, hard to uh, manipulate it. 
So even so, you mean that even if there are two different products, and if you are if you are mixing and blending products based on those two different uh, uh, you know supply chain items, you can still track through Tracify uh, because given that you are tracking those individually, uh, even though they might be uh, you know. Uh, might have been combined together to produce a third uh, kind of product, you can still track that, right? Exactly. And uh, uh, regardless of how small the batch is going to get, including the waste uh, we are tracking. So, so we can be able to track everything. Uh, and Tracified is uh, one thing I need to uh, mention. Uh, Tracified is not uh, driven towards uh, catching the bad guys, uh, but it's driven towards enabling the good guys to uh, prove their quality. So, mm -hmm. so if you are, uh, if you are, uh, uh, I mean, if you're confident that uh, you are producing an authentic product, uh, then you can use this technology to prove it to all your stakeholders, including the end consumer. Okay, now that's great. Um, <clears throat> Dilipa, thank you very much again for your time. Uh, and I'm sure that people will contact you uh, directly or through um, early bites uh, for further questions and clarification. Uh, thank you very much. Um, and uh, you have a good day. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.